I was 22 years old, about to graduate from college, when my parents announced they were getting a divorce. After 25 years of marriage, to cope, I decided to become a marriage counselor. I went to UC Santa Barbara and I worked in the counseling clinic. I saw couples and people struggle with their conflict situations. I wanted to dig deeper into the research on conflict, so then I headed off to get a PhD in social psychology. And after one year of flailing about, I met people in the business school, and a light bulb went off for me when I realized that business negotiations were not so much different than the personal conflicts I'd been studying as my time as a counselor. Business people often ask me to give them an example of win-win negotiation. So picture two sisters in one orange. The sisters love each other, but they both want the orange. They're angry. You've pushed me around my entire life today. This orange is mine, demands one sister. The other sister snaps back. I will never speak to you again. Finally, they realize that preserving their loving long-term relationship is more important than the orange. And so they cut the orange exactly in half. One sister takes her half, squeezes out the juice, and tosses the peel away. Meanwhile, the other sister carefully zests her half of the orange peel to make her famous orange scone recipe and throws the juice away. At that point, the garbage truck comes and goes. Both sisters are aghast. You mean this whole time you only wanted the peel and I only wanted the juice, and now it's too late. The sisters missed the sweet spot. Even though they loved each other, they failed to reach a win-win. In my research, I study a lot of business negotiations. People are cutting oranges in half all the time. For example, in my classes, over 80% of people fail to reach win-win outcomes. This is where the hacks that I outline in my book, Finding the Sweet Spot, come in. In the book, I introduce strategies to find the sweet spot in personal relationships, the workplace, and in virtual life. The good news? You don't need a business degree or a license in clinical psychology to learn how to find the sweet spot in life's negotiations. I don't know whether any of these hacks could have made a difference for my parents, but when people ask me how what I study affects my own life, I celebrated my 27th wedding anniversary in June, and I have no plans for getting a divorce.